Hello everyone, welcome to the 4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use plugin in Drupal. So before that, I will give some theoretical explanation about plugin and then uh, what are the files we are going to create and why those files are. Once I explained everything and then we can we can go to the code. First, uh, what is plugin? So plugin in Drupal, it will not hold any storage and it will act as a service. If you have any functionality in your module, if you want other module to customize the functionality, in that case, you can go with plugin. So let me explain uh, how to do that next. So in this case, you have to create uh, five files. So I will explain why, what are the files and how to do that and what those files are doing. Okay. So first is plugin manager class, plugin manager class. So this will act as a heart of the plugin. This will act as a heart of the plugin means all functionality, uh, everything in plugin, if it is happening, all because of this manager class, because this will discover all the plugin, discover all the plugin in the sense. Uh, if you just think about any example plugin like block, if you are creating any block plugin in your custom module, so this 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 plugin manager uh, for a block plugin in a core there will be a plugin manager class right that class file discover all the plugin so if any country module has any uh, blocks it will search and it will take and then if any custom module has any block plugin all those will be discovered by using the block plugin manager class in the core okay and it will act as a service so it will act as a service for uh any functionality and by default it will extend the default plugin manager class which is in the uh code and then uh for each plugin it will initialize the object initialize the object in the sense consider you are creating one plugin file in your custom module for a block okay and there you will be creating a function called build you have to initialize the object so that you can call to the build function and the content will be uh, fetched and it will be displayed in the front end. In that, in that action will be happened only if you initialize object for your PHP file class file. That will happen by using this manager class. Okay. And then next it holds all the properties of all the path of plugin folder, annotation class, interface class. So plugin folder means uh, in a block, if you are creating a block plugin, where you will be placing it, it will be under SRC plugin block inside that all your plugin uh, block plugin file will be there, right? So we have to tell to the plugin manager, in this path, whatever PHP files are located, all or block plugin so we have to tend to manage a class that this is the path you have to find all the php files for that reason you have to pass the plugin path and the next annotation so annotation class in the sense if you are creating a block plugin in the annotation on the top of the annotation you will be giving at block and then inside that you will be giving id label, uh, name, description, whatever you want, you can give, right? Category, something like that. So all those uh, variables will be predefined in this annotation class. And then next is interface. Interface in the sense, each plugin will have some uh, separate functions. When it comes to field formatter, we will be having a function called view element, which will uh, uh, construct the render, array, render array and it will print, right? So as like that, uh, when it come to block, we will be having a build function. So in your custom plugin, you will have some specific functionality, right? For that, you have to create a some set of functions. All those functions will be held under this interface file. Okay. So that's it about the plugin manager class. And the next annotation, as I already mentioned, annotation holds all the annotation variables. So this is the first one. First PHP class file, plugin manager class, first one, one. An annotation class, it's two. Interface file, it's three. So it holds all the uh, plugin specific functions. And then next plugin file, where we actually uh, write the functionality, like view element or build function in block or view element in the uh, 
uh, field formatter all will be under this plugin uh, plugin file. Okay, so totally it was one, two, three, four, five. So uh, totally four PHP file, and then as I already mentioned, plugin manager will act as a service. So for that you have to create a one services.yml file. Only five file is enough to create your plugin, your custom plugin in your custom module. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the file which I created. So I'm not going to explain how it is working. So I just give overall uh, structure of the file what I created. Okay. First, uh, block. Don't think about this file. So this I created. I will explain it, explain it in the next video. So first I created info file that is mandatory for all the custom module and next service file. So service file, as I already mentioned, all the plugins or act as a service. So we have to create a service for manager or uh, plugin manager file. So I just created it and then uh, we have plugin manager under the SRC file. Here I created, I, I will explain the code in the next video. And then next what I created annotation. So annotation, as I already mentioned, it will hold all the variables. So I don't have anything much. I have only label. By default, uh, we will be having an ID variable. So here it will hold only the label. And then next is uh, interface. So interface file will be under the uh, your path plugin block data. And then here, and here uh, I added two function. One is label and one is block data. Block data is the file where I'm going to write my uh, functionality. Okay. And then uh, this is the block which I created. So this is my custom uh, as like, this is like a block file. Okay. So this is like, as like block file, this is my custom module plugin file. So I created it under plugin block data display date and time dot php file so here i added my functionality so i will explain how it is working and uh, how it is going to visible in our trend and everything i will explain it in the next video and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye